Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Let a trippin' nigga see what you're working with. Can you clap that ass, do a handstand? Girl, make your booty wiggle, do a perfect split. She got the fattest ass, she got the perfect tits. I wanna get some hair, come on, work your lips. I'm high in the clouds, I'm not coming down. I'm so turned that I can't find the ground. Super uh, serve, uh, So today we got a very special treat in the mail. Uh, one of uh, my viewers, I guess, heard on the live stream that I was, I wanted uh, a Y-axis power feed for the mill. And yesterday, uh, it showed up in the fucking mail. So today, we are gonna try to install this Y-axis power feed. And uh, boy, there's a lot of parts and a lot of shit. So we're gonna be drilling and tapping and fucking, we're gonna be doing a lot of shit. So uh, what this is, is it's a Dynamo uh, Y-axis, or Y-axis power feed. That moves the table front and back. Uh, it's just so I could, I wanted to get smoother uh, cross lines on my stuff. So it has a limited switch. We got to install all that. Uh, we got all these gears, all these parts. I mean, there is shit everywhere. But anyway, uh, I'll show you the first thing. We got to get this mounted up and then we'll worry about the limiting switch and uh, all that stuff uh, a little bit later yeah uh, the first thing we got to do here first is is we take off this nut uh the handle okay then we gotta take off this and then we pull this out and then we gotta get this uh bearing thing off which i took this stuff off earlier just fucking with it so it go went a little faster so uh now that we got that off what we have to do is, the first thing it says is to install uh, this bearing shim thing here. Because if you turn it, the bearing will come out. Uh, I know that because I did it. So then what we gotta do is put these in here. Um, it says that it comes with all the hardware. Uh, but fuck, what do I know? This isn't the hard part right here. This, the drilling and tapping is going to be the fucked up part. So, this bearing thing don't want to fit down in here real good. Uh, what I did earlier off camera is I just ran a tap through all these holes just to, just to make sure uh, everything was tight, you know, and kosher. Okay, uh, now we got that. The next thing to do is, is it says install your shaft adapter. This thing right here. Okay, now what we have to do is, I think we're ready to... Uh, bolt this up. Oh yeah. Okay, so then we find the... Alright, we messed this up right from the beginning. Because we didn't put this on uh, right. That's what direction it's got to go in. I think these people use coolant at the last place. Because I can, I can smell coolant everywhere. Kind of get this started all the way around. Now that we got that, all right, now we can put this back up there and yeah, the holes line up. Now I'm assuming we use these right here and this is probably, this is probably gonna be, who knew? You got lucky like this quite a bit so it gets it, so I can get my hand in there. Okay, 
uh, we got that bolted on there. Now the next thing it says to do is find the instructions. Okay, we got that dude to dude screw install shim washer. So what I had to do is I had to call the manufacturer. I didn't understand uh, kind of what we had to do here, but uh, I'll kind of explain it to you here. Let me get these this shim pack off. Okay, now first things first. Uh, when you buy one of these, uh, if it's this model, I'm gonna say uh, you got to drill this roll pin in. But what you have to do is get this shaft extender all the way down here. So what I had to do is run a fucking new die over the fucking bolt here, run a tap down through these threads because they were fucking nasty to get this to come all the way in there. Okay, now what you're trying to do is, it said 80 thousandths, but I, it's kind of like the guy told me, he goes, dude, there's no measurement. You just got to do it by feel. So as you can see here, uh, I got it set at 65 thousandths, okay? And that feels pretty good to this hillbilly. Now, I don't know really all that type of stuff. All right, and the shims ride back here on the back of this bull gear. What you're trying to do is you're trying to judge this distance to get the right ratio on the, on the gear. So as you can see, you know, we're fully engaged there. All right, then what you want to do well, first things first, I've already adjusted it and ran the machine, so I know that I'm pretty good where I'm at. Then what we have to do is tap down this keyway, all right, and we are going to go ahead and slide this bull gear on there for the final time. Now, there is some shim packs that go here, a little bit bigger. Um, I got three of them. Okay, what it does is, is it just allows me to have a little more room uh, on the handle. It doesn't do anything right here. Okay, then what you do is you put your handle spacer in there. Uh, you put your handle back on. All right, then they provide you this special nut. All right, and we screw that on, and it's a three-quarter nut, just like everything else is. Okay, now we tighten that down. Now what you want to do is just check. See how it sounds pretty good going this way? We sound good coming this way, okay? Now let's turn on the power feed and see what we got. Look at that. We don't hear any grinding. Alright. Now what we'll do is we'll come back. Alright. Now what we have to do is set, uh, get down underneath here. I'm going to have to get some lights and get this set. So there's really no feel, you know, you could set your dial to zero again. So there's our dial to zero. Now what we have to do is get under here and mount up this uh, bracket here. So give me a couple minutes to get it cleaned up, uh, kind of get where I think I want it to go, then I'll bring you guys along. But as you can tell, now we're going to have cross feed power, which a lot of machines don't have this, and I'm super excited. To have it. It's going to make doing uh, these cross runs uh, a lot better. So that's that hooked up. Here is done. You know, it's a little tight over here on this, but fuck it. We'll be all right. Um, so what I did is, is I got the bracket mounted up here uh, and then it comes down and this is for the limit switch. Okay. And I got the limit sw switch set up here. Uh, you know, like this is the stop for the front of the table, the back of the table, and we got everything all zip tied up uh, real nice and neat down here. I also took the time to clean up some of this other garbage, but, uh, and fix this because this was loose. Um, the one thing here is I put this up here 
uh, I had to modify this bracket a little bit. I just shortened it up so I could get this thing to hit these limit switches right here. Uh, you know, and how this goes together is it's got four 1024 screws that screw into the cast iron there. And then this is just uh, 5 16 18, and you get it all put up on there. So uh, now that we got, we got these limit switches set up, and I'd like to take a minute here to show you how this thing works. So this is it running the table in, and you're never gonna have it this fast, you know? You're gonna have it about that fast. Maybe even not that fast. But what this will do, as you can see, it'll go over there. Well, once it gets to it. All right, see how it stopped there? Now we know that's about as far back in the vise as we want to go. Uh, now we come over here and we come out. And you'll see how this outside uh, thing went. This stuff is pretty simple. You know, you just put this track up in there. Uh, you know, center. You know, I have a set of center punches, all different sizes. Put that in there. Hammer that in there. You know, drill and tap. Basically is all it is. And then there is the uh, DRO uh, completely moved. And uh, we probably have like six or seven inches of travel. But anyway, uh, we got this thing hooked up here. Uh, definitely not, you know, fucked up. It definitely feels a lot better once we started using it. You know, and all that stuff. So I'm sure you guys want to see it work and what the advantage of this is. Hey, okay, now uh, this is just a 50 thousandths cut and I can control the speed. It's a lot easier than, uh, you know, trying to come in with your hand. If you see there. Look at that. This is so awesome. No, so you can also run the table out a little bit more. But that's how the that's how this works here to get us a nice flat surface to uh, you know over here. It's a lot easier than hand cranking it like this and you know it wanting to do whatever. But this mill's in good shape, so you know, you can climb mill with a little bit easier skill. Yeah, guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video on how to install a uh, Y-axis power feed on your mill. It's pretty self-explanatory once you understand the shim system. And if you're pretty mechanical, this should be no big deal. But anyway, uh, you know, the person that sent this to me, thank you so much. I mean, this thing is a big ticket item. This is not a small donation to the channel, but... It's going to help out tremendously on what I got going on. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. It makes you have control over feeding the Y-axis for doing edges or anything else that you want to do. And also, you don't have to turn that crank. It's almost, you know, so not very mills have power feeds on all three axes and have digital readouts on all four axes because we have this scale, you know, in, out, up, down, all the shit. But anyway... Uh, so this mill is pretty fucking nice. I um, really enjoy what I have here. Um, like always, guys, go check out uh, OnlineToolVendors.com. Uh, the Amazon link to my channel's there. You can see all the tools that I buy uh, for this channel from Amazon. They're all over there if you would like any of them. Uh, check out the, the SnapOnJunkie.com. Uh, we have uh, T-shirts, hoodies, and women's panties for sale. Go check that out. Uh, they're all on sale. They'll be like that till we get rid of them. And uh, check out Facebook, social media, all that other bullshit. You know, and uh, pretty much, like always, thanks for watching. And I gotta fucking go.